Hey guys, I hope all is well today. Um, I just wanted to bring this story about the earthquake that hit Turkey, Syria. Um, it it was devastating to killing more than 3,400 people, according to Associated Press. So let's, you know, see what happened. Powerful quake rocks Turkey and Syria, kills more than 3,400 people. Before I <laughs> go on, and I, I know I always do this, but you guys, we have seen an increase in earthquakes around the world, right? We've even had earthquakes right here in the United States um, in areas that don't usually see earthquakes. And I truly, truly, truly believe that it is global warming. I think that our planet, and I'm not a scientist, but I think that the planet is heating up from the inside out. You know, we have magma and all kinds of hot things under there, right? And don't get mad when I say this, you guys, because I know this is a touchy subject. My really, really close family members all work in the petroleum industry and their jobs and livelihood depend on things like fracking. But I truly believe that we should not be fracking in certain areas of the world. And it is just destabilizing the earth. That's my belief, right? If you're going deep down into the earth and you're pul pulverizing, you know, the rock that's deep in the earth to get to the oil down there or the gas or whatever. I just believe that it's destabilizing our earth and it's causing all sorts of crazy issues. And, you know, I think that's why we're seeing an, an, an increase in earthquakes. And also, you know, global warming um, is a concern. It's not a made up term, you guys. I know that you see how many really bad tornadoes have been going across this country in the past few years. How many horrible hurricanes we've gone through lately in the past few years. We would see a hurricane um you know, very destructive hurricane, because I live in Louisiana, I'm from Louisiana, we would see one every few years. But every single year, if it isn't hitting Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, uh, it's coming up the East Coast, right? That is unusual. New, uh, New York flooded. Remember that? You don't re you rarely have ever, ever heard of flooding in the streets of New York City, right? I mean, it's just there. The, the evidence is there before us. And the second point that I want to make based on my beliefs and my opinions is that we're moving towards the end times. I mean, I just feel that way because we are seeing an increase in evil out there. We're seeing an increase in hurricanes and tornadoes and um, earthquakes, all sorts of destructive weather and events, right? So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are about what's going on. Tell me in the comments. So let me get back to the story. 
a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked wide swaths of Turkey and neighboring Syria on Monday, killing more than 3,400 people and injuring thousands more as it toppled thousands of buildings and trapped residents under mounds of rubble. Authorities feared the death toll would keep climbing as rescuers. Hold on just a second, you guys. I'm sorry. Authorities feared the death toll would keep climbing as rescuers searched through tangles of metal and concrete for survivors in a region beset by Syria's 12 year civil war and a refugee crisis. Residents jolted out of sleep by the pre-dawn quake rushed outside in the rain and snow to escape falling debris while those who were trapped cried for help. Oh my gosh. I, you guys. Oh, how scary and sad. Throughout the day, major aftershocks rattled the region, rattled the region, including a jolt nearly as strong as the initial quake. After night fell, workers were still sawing away slabs and pulling out bodies as desperate families waited for news on trapped loved ones. My grandson is one and a half years old. Please help them, please. We can't hear them or get any news from them since morning. Please, they were on the 12th floor. Imran Baur wept by her destroyed apartment building in the Turkish city of Ad Adana. Her daughter and family were still not found. Tens of thousands who were left homeless in Turkey and Syria face a night in the cold. In Turkey, you guys, I'm going to butcher these names, okay? I'm sorry. In Turkey's Gaziantep, a provincial capital about 33 kilometers or 20 miles from the epicenter, people took refuge in shopping malls, stadiums, and community centers. Mosques around the region were opened to provide shelter. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdo, I don't know, Erdogan declared seven days of national mourning. I'm sorry, you guys, these names. Um, <laughs> I am so tempted to like pronounce them in Spanish for some reason, but they are not. So just, you know, hang in there with me with these pronunciations. The quake, which was centered on Turkey's southeastern province of Karamaraz, sent residents of Damascus and Beirut rushing into the street and was felt as far away, away as Cairo. The quake piled more misery on a region that has seen tremendous suffering over the past decade. On the Syrian side, the area is divided between government-held territory and the country's last opposition-held enclave, which is surrounded by Russian-backed government forces. Turkey, meanwhile, is home to millions of refugees from the civil war. In the rebel-held enclave, hundreds of families remained trapped in rubble. The opposition emergency organization called the White Helmets said in a statement. The area is packed with some 4 million people displaced from other parts of the country by the war. Many of them live in buildings that are already wrecked from past bombardments. Wow. Strained health facilities quickly filled with injured rescue workers said. So the, the hospitals and facilities quickly filled with the injured. Others had to be emptied, including a maternity hospital, according to the SAMS medical organization. More than 7,800 people were rescued across the 10 provinces, according to Oran Tatar, an official with Turkey's Disaster Management Authority. The region sits on top of major fault lines and is frequently shaken by earthquakes. Some 18,000 were killed in similarly powerful earthquakes that hit northwest Turkey in 1999. The U.S. Geological Survey measured Monday's quake at 7.8 with a depth of 18 kilometers or 11 miles down. Wow. 
hours later, a 7.5 magnitude Timbler struck more than 1,000 kilometers away. So 60 miles away, there was another 7.5 magnitude Timbler. 200 miles to the northeast, thousands of buildings were reported collapsed in a wide area extending from serious cities of Aleppo and Hama to Turkey's, you guys, I don't know, it's Diyak, Diyak, Kir, I don't know, these, you know, I can't pronounce all of these, so forgive me, you guys, if I'm, you know, totally messing it up. In Turkey alone, more than 5,600 buildings were destroyed, authorities said. Hospitals were damaged and one collapsed in the Turkish city of Eskenderun. Bitterly cold temperatures could reduce the time frame that rescuers have to save trapped survivors, said Dr. Stephen Godby, an expert in natural hazards at Nottingham Trent University. The difficulty of working in areas beset by civil war would further complicate rescue efforts, he said. So you guys, let's um, keep these poor people in our prayers. They have been through war. They've been through having to leave their homes to save their lives and now they have gone through this terrible natural disaster. Thousands of people have lost their lives. No homes to go to for others. Worrying about those who survived are now worrying. Will their loved ones be found alive? And the amount of damage that has taken place in those areas I mean it will be a miracle if they find anyone under there alive and then you know the temperatures are going to be dropping that's another dangerous element along with just being buried under all of that rubble so Pray for those who have survived and the entire area, you guys, the entire area. It's a sad, sad situation.